Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're reading a story from the Christmas Disney Christmas Storybook Collection, A Treasury of Tales. Our story comes from Snow White. It's called A Christmas to Remember. Once upon a time, a princess named Snow White had to run away from her evil stepmother's castle. She happened upon a cozy cottage in the woods that belonged to the seven dwarfs. When the dwarfs heard that Snow White's life was in danger, they insisted she stay with them. After several months, they thought of each other like family. One December morning, Snow White was out feeding the birds and her other forest friends. Doc sat down with the other dwarfs. Christmas is coming, he said. What do you say we give Snow White a gifty nift or a, a nifty gift? We need to show our appreciation for all she's done for us, said Happy. Oh, why not? She deserves something, I guess, said Grumpy. Sleepy said she could use a new quilt for her bed. How about a lace handkerchief, suggested Sneezy. I have an idea, said Bashful, blushing. Why not give her something from our minds, something for her to remember us by? Remember us? She's not going anywhere, said Grumpy, is she? Let's hope not, Sleepy yawned. If we work extra hard, said Doc, we could find the perfect piemond or er, diamond. We could make her a crown, said Happy, a crown like a princess would wear. Snow White is a princess, Bashful reminded them. The next day, the dwarves busied themselves at the mine. They wanted to be sure they found the perfect gift. In the cottage, Snow White got ready for Christmas, too. First, she made a tray of special cookies, cutting them into the shapes of bells and stars and Christmas trees. While the cookies baked, she went into the forest and cut down a dwarf-sized pine tree. She pulled it home on a small sled, gathering red berries and holly leaves along the way. When Snow White returned to the little cottage, it was filled with the smell of warm cinnamon and sugar. The smell was so delicious it made Snow White quite hungry. But instead of nibbling on the freshly baked cookies, she laced them on ribbons and hung them on the little pine tree. She draped strings of berries on the branches, singing carols all the while. She hoped the dwarfs liked the holiday treats and decorations. By the time she had finished decking the cottage with holly and mistletoe, Snow White was tired. She sat down by the fire, and soon she was fast asleep. When the dwarfs came home and saw the tree, they danced and shouted with delight. They loved the smell of the cookies and could hardly wait to have a taste. Snow White awoke at the sound of their cheers and smiled. Merry Christmas, she exclaimed. I'm so happy you like my surprise. It's a beautiful surprise, said Happy. We have a little surprise for you, too, Doc added. He took a small package wrapped in brown paper out of his cloak and placed it under the tree. No squeaking or er, peeking, he said. Please wait until Christmas Eve, Bashful added shyly. Snow White was surprised. You didn't have to give me a present, she said. You've already been so kind to me. On Christmas Eve, Snow White cooked a feast of roast fowl and a delicious cake. All night she kept looking at the package beneath the tree. Her stepmother, the evil queen, had never given her anything. This was her very first Christmas present. At last, the meal was finished and the dwarfs had washed all of the dishes. Doc handed Snow White the small bundle. When she opened it, Snow White gasped with delight. Why, this is lovely. How did you ever? 
We made it, said Happy proudly. Snow White went to the mirror and put on the crown. Oh, thank you, she said. This is wonderful, and it is even more precious because you put your hearts into it. Shucks, it wasn't much, said Bashful. But it is, Snow White cried. You've made my very first Christmas very memorable. Snow White wore the splendid crown all through the Christmas holiday. Then she wrapped it carefully and tucked it away. She wanted to keep her beautiful gift ready for the next time she wore it. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.